and welcome back to homegrown country home place friends how y'all doing today but y'all i had some questions about how i designed or made my beller for while i was uh, digging my well down there and i'm going to uh, kind of show y'all today uh, exactly uh, what i did and everything's very simple anybody can do it and um, a few suggestions i have some things i'll probably change uh, when i continue to uh, drill on my well but let me just show you uh, what i got here all right y'all this is about a three foot piece of um, 40 schedule uh, metal pipe and um, right here just a piece of like half inch or uh, five eighths rebar and um, i just uh, welded it here to the inside and it's just where you know hook my rope or your cable whatever you're using to uh, drop it down a well and um I'll just flip it over here and this is probably the part most of you want to know about all right on the other end of it right here uh what i did i just took a grinder and uh ground the edge down like a 45 degree angle and i just made it a little bit thinner right here and i use this for dual purpose not only for say bellowing the uh dirt and clay and different stuff out of the uh, hole i used actually to uh, help uh, chop it up so I drop this beller in here because it's heavy and um, it would actually chop up the clay in the bottom of the hole so it helped also serve its purpose as a, a, a bit also but um, you probably wouldn't have to do this part right here if you just use it strictly for a beller to get your sand or whatever out but uh, like I, said, I used mine for the uh, chopping part of it also and um, so this next part right here what I did this little uh, metal sleeve right here what did I cut off uh, probably about an inch of the pipe and uh, cut it cut it in two and uh, I just cut enough metal off so when I drop it down in here um, it would fit and I could weld it in here but before I did that I had to make a plate right here and this plate metal plate right here it's just made out of one eighth inch uh, flat metal but um, if I had to do it again I'd put uh, at least three sixteenths or a quarter inch uh, steel right here because you see it bending a little bit over time driving down in the hole, um, hitting the clay and stuff coming up and pushing against it. But um, so what I did there, I just cut about the half the diameter, a little bit less than half diameter of that right there, and uh, I welded that piece of metal on top of that uh, ring right here that I made and um, then i drilled me a hole through it and this rubber flap it's got a rubber flap right there that's what you use to uh when, when it goes down that you weld the water sand dirt rock whatever it pushes this flap open and then when you pull back up on it it seals off on the inside of this lip right here so i just took that piece right here that just came out of sidewall of a tire um, but you can use any kind of flat uh, rubber that you have. I cut that out of the sidewall of a tire. And um, I just uh, drilled a hole through it and put one bolt through it, y'all. And um, you can make them out of, I've seen people make them out of uh, metal hinges and uh, metal flaps. But um, I'm not really sure how good those work because I've never tried that. But uh, my thinking was this piece of rubber is real flexible and it gills and uh you don't have to worry about nothing seasoning up on it rust or anything and it's and it's worked real good for me and um but anyway after i bolted all that together i, I slid this uh sleeve back down in here about two inches and then i just welded around through here to uh, weld it in place and um like i say it's worked really good now if i had to do over again and which you know the beller itself works really good for what it is and there's nothing wrong with it. i'm gonna keep it. i'm gonna use it but um if you're going to use the beller as a bit also uh one thing i would suggest um making it uh longer than three foot and also um depending if you're using say just manpower or machine power to pull this up and down um, a lighter weight metal uh, the thinner gauge 
um, would be better a uh, little bit longer because what I've seen is using a shorter pipe you have more of a chance your hole going crooked than if you use a longer pipe you know and that just uh that just makes sense but if you're just using this strictly as a baler only i uh, say a three foot section be fine and it really don't matter you know if it's thin thick you know it's not too heavy but um uh, depends really i guess how deep you go to also uh over time this even gets heavy you know dropping it down in a, a deeper well so it really depends how far you gotta go to try to get to your water but um if I if I had to do it over again, if I like say I I I do this out of a little bit thinner metal, and also make it a little bit longer, but um, I just want to show y'all uh, how I made that. It's very simple. I know a lot of you had questions about that exactly how it worked and you know, what I made it out of, and I just want to show y'all that today, and um, so maybe that uh, get uh, clear up some you know questions you have about it. But uh, I appreciate y'all coming along. Appreciate y'all watching the videos. And always, friends, for my family years, y'all have a blessed day, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.